Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. I have switched my camera up a little bit. Um, it's up pretty high so that we could fit this whole crafty companion workstation into the frame. So I hope you guys don't mind. You're going to be a little bit further away from my hands, but you're going to be able to see the whole shebang, right? So I hope this works out. Um, we'll see. It's, I'm hurting my neck looking up at the monitor, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so we are working with the Crafty Companion. We're doing the workstation. Let's see if I can even get it up to the camera. Yeah, we're doing the Crafty Workstation um, with the Crafty Dividers on top, the Crafty Dividers up here. And in the last video, we made all of the Crafty Trays. We, we only got this far. We only got so far as to wrap all the edges and mat the bottom, right? And so we have five trays. So this is C and this is B, and then there's another one that's A that's larger. Let me show you that size. Is there anything in it? No, nope, there is. So then this one, this is the A size. So you can see the difference. It's a little bit bigger than the B. The smallest is the C, the medium is the B, and then the largest is the A size. I didn't put an A size in this workstation because this is the workstation that I'm going to keep like all of my ephemera and things in while I'm working on a project. It's not like for storage or anything. It's just for organization while we're working on uh, a mini album. So we've got this far, right? And it looks super good. And then I was playing around and I decided to go ahead and finish three of the crafty trays um, before I turned the camera on because it is a little bit time consuming. So, um, but anyway, so these are printable templates. They are available in my Etsy shop. They'll be linked down below. There is a um, complete YouTube playlist for the Crafty Companion. All the different uh, things that we can make are gonna be in that playlist eventually, maybe not right this minute, but if you wanna start from the beginning and make this workstation with this, then I will put a link up here and down in the description box below. Um, it starts from the introduction to the templates themselves and then this is my workbook. So then it, we um, actually did that on video this time. So that's in that playlist. And then it'll start uh, making the project. There's also a Amazon list specifically for the Crafty Companion. So if you want to know what kind of chipboard I'm using or what ink I'm using, um, I do say it in the videos, but a lot of times people want a visual like um, to they can read the, the stuff about it. You know what I'm saying? Like the info about it. So I've made that Amazon list. It is an affiliate link. So if you purchase through that, I do get a little portion of that. So every little bit helps keep my channel going. Um, and also I wanted to ask you guys to please be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell and turn the notifications on. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Share my videos. I forget to say share. So I'm trying to make myself say share my videos. <laughs> All right, so let me show you where we're going with this video. We're gonna mat and put the handles on uh, the crafty trays. So let me show you what I've done so far. So there's the inside, right? It's all matted, right? And then there's the bottom, nothing's on the bottom. There's the front panel. Let me see if I can't, I'm gonna have to reach way up there. So I've added the little handles and then this is the floral whimsy. Oh, let me show you that. This is the paper collection that we're using. This is in my Etsy shop. It's a digital paper collection, so you never run out. I'm trying to get it to focus. <laughs> so you never run out of your favorite pattern. This is the paper collection we're using, and I'll show you exactly what I've printed off so far. But I'll have that link down below as well. Right, and so then I decided instead of, instead of, come on camera. It's just so far away, doesn't know what to focus on. Instead of matting the sides, I stamped on them. I stamped the script on them. What do you guys think? Right? Doesn't that look cool? Of course, you could mat the sides if you want to. Let me show you another one. Right? Come on, camera. It doesn't want to focus. <laughs> it's so high up there. <laughs> ah! There we go. Okay, so see it? Isn't that cool? Let's go slow for the camera, right? And it wraps all the way around. Because you're really not going to see this very much, but think about how cool this is going to look from a side view. Let me show you. Let me pull them out. Let me flip it on its side. And pull them out like this. So they're not matted, 
but um, let's see if I can lift it up. But it looks so cool. Come on, camera. <laughs> Balancing act. There we go. Right? Doesn't that look neat? Okay. So I was thinking about, and the reason I thought that might be a good idea is because when I originally planned this video, these sets of videos, I didn't think I was going to add this white here. This was like, this was an afterthought. So why don't we stamp on this as well? So I'm thinking I'm kind of liking that idea. So we'll do that last, right? Wouldn't that be cool to have it just like carry all the way around? Okay. All right. So let me show you what you need to, <laughs> what you need. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, um, we're doing. We're in the crafty tray section, right? You can't see it because you're so far away. We're in the crafty tray section, and you will need the mat for the inside of the. Whoops, I've been using these. They're stickies. Almost done. For the inside of the crafty tray's full base is on page four M. So I have printed, and this is the coffee stain background. You use whatever you want, whatever background you chose, or you can just use plain solid cardstock if you want to. Um, I printed this off five times. Okay, I've already cut four of them out, but I'm gonna cut one out here. Um, so I printed it off five times because we have five. I'm not matting the bottom of it. We've already matted that with white. So um, we're gonna mat the inside with this, and then. The other things you're going to need to mat the inside is page 6M and page 7M. Now that is if you followed me 100%. So if you made two B size drawers and three C size drawers, you will need one page of the 6M and one page of the 7M. And they look like this when they're printed off with the background on them. And as a matter of fact, this is exactly what you need. You won't have any leftovers. This will cover three trays and this will cover two trays. So you need to cut all of these out. I've already done that um, because I obviously have done three already. So I've already cut all of those out, but you need every single one. And then what I did was I just inked, here I'll just show you right here. I just went and inked that white edge because it's already got the distressed edge. So I just added just the ink on the, on the edge. So you'll need those two. I'm gonna leave them in there, sorry, just in case I need them for something else. And then for the outside, I used, um, on page three, still in the crafty trays, I used the mat for, oh no I didn't, no I didn't, this isn't the mat, <laughs> on page three I used the actual traceable template for the chipboard part because when you, when you assemble pieces of chipboard together it gets wider and bigger and I just prefer that look. These two I showed you guys when I, sh when I did the garbage bow video. I will link that up here and down below as well. But this is the one, this is the template that you use for your chipboard and this is the mat. So you see the difference? It's The mat one is a lot smaller, but that's for the inside really. But this is what I used to mat the outside, okay? So it's totally personal preference. So I ended up, I used the C and the B and traced them on to, laid it, you know, laid them down on my paper, on the paper that I printed, I laid it down, traced it out, cut it out, and inked it up. Whoa. So that is everything that you need. So I've already got these all cut out and everything and ready to go, except for the, the bottom there. Okay, so these are the two strips I have left for the front of the two drawers here. But these are the patterns that I used. This is from the Floral Whimsy. That's the green all over pattern. And then there is the purple and white all over pattern. And then I used this one that has a little bit of like that old school binder blue. Um, and this like, um, what color is this? It's not coming to me. That, like a mauve, a mauve color. Um, but anyway, so those are the three that I chose. And then the middle one, this one here, I used what we used on the, um, the back of this. I, I found a scrap um, and just used that. So those are the three that we used. And so here's all my inside mats. I've already got them ready to go inked up. And then let me go ahead and cut this one out. Let me show you what I mean by um, 
just inking the edge. Oh, look, you can almost see my whole. Whoop. Look, that scrap of piece was still was still in there. That's funny. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna. This is a Fiskars Precision Heavy Duty Paper. Ooh, loud. So I'm just gonna trim this out all the way around. Don't you love how? you're working on a project and they just kind of morph into something other than what you envisioned the first time. Like when you, when I was planning this, you know, I didn't think of any of that. I just was like, um, I just want to use my floral whimsy because I know a lot of people have it and there's not that many cool papers out right now. And you know, doing that kind of him hauling. And I wasn't sure how it was going to end up looking, but I am totally, digging it it's different than any of the other prototypes that i've made i mean it's really it's really cool i'm really liking it really liking the way it's working out and i'm really going to dig it once we get that stamping on the side okay so this is the ink that i'm using um distress ink and vintage photo right and this is the ink station that we made when we uh the same video we made the garbage bowl so all I'm doing is just literally, because it's already got the distressed edge, I'm just going to literally um, run my ink over that edge of the white where it's been cut. And if you want it to, you could have traced these out. You can trace them out onto solid paper or whatever paper, coffee stain paper, whatever you want to use. Um, it's totally up to you, but that is what I chose to do. So those are all ready to go. These are ready to go. And these are ready to go. I think we're going to start. Um, no, you know what we're going to do first. I've already, I already made a boo-boo off camera. So we're not going to make that boo-boo on camera. I'll show you. You might not even be able to tell. Uh, I, I've instead, I forgot to ink these, um, what are these called? These, um, what are those called? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to ink these inside bits right and then so I glued this piece in and look what happened can you see it the ink won't stay so we're gonna we're gonna do the inking first oh in order to do that I'm gonna get my my little palette out here that I laminated when we made the workbook and I'm gonna take my ink pad and I'm gonna smoosh. We're gonna need, let's see, we're doing two drawers. That should be more than enough. And I'm gonna spray it with water, just plain old water. And I'm gonna take my brush. This is a Ranger. They have a whole set of brushes. I've got them linked in my Amazon. Um, I, I love them, they're really good quality. Um, this one, remember, we did this one a little different. We didn't cover the whole thing. I was showing you two different ways to assemble these crafty trays. So but that's okay because we're going to be matting this, so it doesn't matter. So if you wanted to do the stamping on the side, you're going to have to mat it with paper if you didn't. So yeah, so we're just going and filling in all of these little nooks and crannies. What are those called, you guys? Can I even believe I cannot think of this word? That happens to me all the time. That's okay. All right, so you just want to go ahead. I may have got it a little too wet, but that's okay. I'm going to do both of them. And make sure you get in the corner corner. Right? So, oh, I'm shaking. Why am I shaking? I'm not hungry. So I'm getting so excited, you guys. Um, again, I'm recording these ahead of time. They're not even released yet. These templates are not even out there for you guys yet. Now, there's that will dry, so don't worry about that. And if we need more, we've got extra right there. Um. 
yeah, I'm just, I'm super excited. I'm super, super, super excited. First thing we're gonna do, I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna add the front piece because we need to, we're gonna be attaching the handles with brads. So we need to do that before we put the, before we put the um, mats on the inside there. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some, where's my, okay, these are what I used already. These are from Hobby Lobby. They're spare parts, paper studios. Uh, there's three metal handles. They're small, and there's three different kinds. So this is what I've used already on here. So I'm going to use um, these two. No, I'm going to use this big one. I'm not sure what I'm going to use, actually. Yeah, I'm going to use a big one and then one of these two small ones. Um, right? Just because I've already started using those. So that's what I'm going to use. But you could use, Tim Holtz makes several different drawer pulls. These are really fun. Um, some of them are round. These are, might be too big. So you have to remember what size tray that you actually made. So these are all available. I'll, I'll try to, now. Nah, I probably won't link these because I'm not gonna use them. But anyway, there's an option. Here is another option. This is the, you also get these at Hobby Lobby. And there were the, the um, is it the clock section or the wood, wood section and the clock section? They're little tiny. This is probably, you get more for your money. So this was $2 for four, and this was $4 for three. So, and it's the same thing. And it's, I found that interesting, right? So you could get, there's two different types of handles. You can get them at Hobby Lobby. Or even even more, those exact same handles you can get through Amazon. I will have these linked in my Amazon. They're the exact same hang, uh, handles. Like this one's a 20 piece set and it's super cheap. So um, either way. As a matter of fact, I might not even have to open. Is it the same color? These are a little bit different color than these, as you can tell. It doesn't say what color these are, but these are a little bit different which is fine um i'm just looking around at the i think there's different types of metal that you can get but this is what i got I'm gonna, yeah because the ones i used in my prototype are more this color but that's okay i don't care are they the same color as what i've already used yeah i'm not stressed out about it but this is the better value just in my opinion um this this paper studio spare parts ones are the most expensive Alright, so let me get these out. And they come with screws instead of brads. Uh, that I don't understand. But who am I? Who am I? <laughs> it's, it's in the paper section. Why, why don't you have brads? Alright, I'm going to use this one and this one. Yep. So what I'm gonna do when I get my ruler, this is a Tim Holtz ruler and a pencil. And I'm gonna try to find my center here from this side to this side because this has a center thingy on it. And I'm just gonna try to mark the center the best I can. Um, it's not gonna be 100% accurate. I'm just gonna place a dot where I think is the center. Yeah, pretty good. And then I'm gonna hold this piece over top of that area. Yeah, I don't know why I'm shaking, good grief. And I'm gonna hope, since I can't get over top of it, I'm gonna hope that it's straight. I can always fix it. And then I'm gonna mark the holes. Yeah, so then I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. Just eyeball it with the other one there. Oh, this one's kind of wonky. Okay. So that's the first thing we want to do. And then. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use my arc letter good because I don't I want to make sure that it doesn't seep out too much. I have better control over this. 
Then I do the fabric tuck So this is our glitter glue. And I'm just gonna, I guess, does it, do I need to pick a side? Which one, which front do I like better? It doesn't matter, they're both about the same. And I'm just gonna lay this on here. Right? Give it a little wiggle. I press. Right, and it's perfect. So let's do this one. Does this one matter? Yeah, I didn't do those two. I didn't wrap those corners very well. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put glue on here. Or glitter glue. I have it linked in my Amazon list, but there's two different types. One that draws clear and one that doesn't. You want the one that draws clear. Just FYI. That same thing. You might have wanted to have checked to make sure that these fit before you stick them down. I did not do that. I'm recording. Yes, yeah, I'm recording. You okay? So then the next thing you want to do is I'm going to take something pointy. Let's see if I can get it up there. Whoa. This is super pointy. This is from a set of stylus. There was a set of three and I used this to remove the backing of my tape. Right? So I'm going to take this and I'm going to poke right through the chipboard right where I made that mark and you're gonna to have to push. Your crocodiles will not fit with these trays, they're too shallow. Push, right? So you, you're making holes, two holes, if the camera will focus. There we go, two holes. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. You just need it big enough for a brad to go through. Okay. Whew. Takes a little muscle. All right, so these brads here, these are actually Tim Holtz brads. They're longer, like there's the screws from the other one. Um, they have a longer, uh, stem on them but they're small so I'm gonna go ahead and dump those out into this is my old garbage bowl I don't know I can't tip it over now but that's my old garbage bowl so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my handle I'm gonna put it on here I'm gonna find the matching color brad stick it through Whoa. Well. Bless, bless you. <laughs> okay. Right, and then you want to open them up on the inside here. And an extra little thing I like to do, I like to take a pair of these are flat, uh, what are these called? Like pliers or something. And I just like to squish the brad from both sides at the same time. Right? Makes it nice and tight. Just like that. Right? All right. So I'm going to add the other one and then I will be back. Okay, got both handles on, right? Put them on the exact same way. And I just wanted to show you, me dumping them in this little ink tray makes it a lot easier to clean them up. Whoop, I had one escape. That's it. All right, perfect. Now I'm gonna put this back in my storage unit. Okay, now we can go in and mat the inside. So let's just, I'll just mat one with you and then I'll mat the other off camera. So this is Fabri-Tac. I'm just taking Fabri-Tac uh, by Beacon. 
and I'm using Fabri-Tac so I can have a little bit of wiggle room. And I get a good amount on there. You don't need too much. And then I'm going to get it set in there and I'm going to position it. And then I'm going to smoosh it down. This is just a Teflon bone folder. That's it. Okay, so for this part, I am gonna make sure I get a lot of glue right on that area so that it'll hold those brads. And trust me, you don't want the brads to pull out because then it's a pain in the tush to fix it. I'm just going to sit this in there. Okay, I'm going to wiggle it around just a little. And then I'm going to hold it right there where them breads are. So I want to make sure it gets good contact right there. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the rest of it matted. So the inside is all matted. So I'm going to go ahead and mat this one real quick. All right, I got both the trays fully matted. And the next thing I'm going to do is ink them up all the way around, just like this. So we're going to go along the outside all the way around. And then we're going to come and go from the inside like this. And then we're going to finish it off by doing this, just rubbing along the top. That way you make sure you get all of the edges. Okay, next step. This is optional. You could mat your sides if you want to, but this is what I'm going to do. This is the stamp. I just looked through all of my stamps. I have a huge collection of stamps and I almost never use them. So I just found this one. This is a Heidi Swap stamp and uh, I don't think it has a name. This is from 2013. I will see if I can't find it, but it's just kind of like a collage stamp. And it's like a, I don't think it's a six by six. I guess it could be. No, it's like five and three fourths by five and three fourths. But anyway, I'm going to use these to stamp around the edges. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this backing off and I'm going to take my ink pad and I'm just going to kind of overall stamp or get ink on there and then I'm going to stand this up on its side and I'm going to try to I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm just going to lay it on there it doesn't even have to be perfect and I can't see it <sighs> come on camera focus there we go so then I'm going to move to the back side I'm going to come up the stamp just a little bit Place it on there, hold it, remove it, and come up just a little bit. Doesn't even matter if it's straight, because it's like a collage thingy. Come up a little bit. Right. And just as simple as that. 
Doesn't that look cool? Oh, I think it does. All right, let's do this one. I'm gonna ink this up a little more. All right, I'm gonna start at the top this time. Place that on there. Whoops. Boom. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit to that end there. Then I'm gonna come down a little bit on the stamp. Right, if you see any really big blank spots, you just go over top of it. Right? And then this bottom piece. Or this bottom piece. Look at just that easy. That's it. That's all it took to make it look fantastic in my mind. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So now let's go ahead and add the drawers to, that's it. That's all we have to do. We're gonna add them into the workstation. And there you go. Look at that. Oh my gosh, okay, so let's flip it on its side. Uh-oh, I see that um, we need a little bit of ink right here. Boom, added. Look at, doesn't this look neat? Oh, well, looks like we need a little bit of something right here. I just think it's awesome. Okay, so now we need to add to this and to this right here. So let's just do the same thing. Let's just go ahead. We can always cover it up if it's ugly. So I'm just gonna kind of little bits yes that looks super cool super cool no maybe not that how about that mm. oh. right I think you guys can see it pretty good that just added it that just did it Oh, let's take these out so I can flip it to the back side. Oh, we need to do the top. Whoops. Can't forget that top section. And I'm going to, just in case, I don't want to get ink on this rest of this. I'm just going to block that off. Just in case. Oh, there's no ink on there. Yes. <laughs> that looks so good. And it didn't even, it didn't even stamp that well, but it looks good, I think. All right, we'll do the same thing for this so I don't get it on the other part. I don't want to get it up here. So you use your, whatever favorite stamp you have. You could use multiple stamps. You don't have to just use one stamp. Use whatever you want. going and going and going. Look at how cool that looks. Okay, so now I need to do the top. Same thing. And I'm getting ink all over my fingers, but that's okay. I shifted on that one. And it looks a little blurry, but I'm not going to stress. There we go. That's a better image. 
right? Even though I shifted it and you can see that it's all blurry, it doesn't matter. It looks good. I like it. All right. One last side. Probably would have been better to do this before I added those rhinestones on there or gemstones or whatever they're called. It looks good. I love it. I'm just going through and filling in some of the blank. It's really not that much. It's pretty good. All right, one last little bit. Perfect, perfect. Oh, you know what? We should try to get this little strip too. Okay. Let's do it. We're gonna try, we're gonna try not to shift. Do you see how much I'm shaking? Boom. should have that thingy, but I don't have it out. There we go. There we go. I love it. So next time we'll do that before we add anything that's dimensional. But look at... What's this here? What is that? I have no idea what that is. We're going to get that off of there. Right? Doesn't it look good? Okay. All right, we'll quit. We'll quit. We'll quit talking about it. <laughs> no, this way. You see how nice and easy these drawers go in? I've left plenty of room so that when you're working, you can just grab one and go without fighting. Uh, without fighting it to come out or to go back in. Right? What do you guys think? Don't those look cool? Okay, you guys, that is all we're going to do in this video. Um, that You can actually stop here if you wanted to. You could put feet on it, the kind that are flat, not the kind that come up over top because then your drawer wouldn't come out. That bottom tray would stay in there. Uh, but we are going to, the next thing we're going to do is make the crafty bottom for this and I'll show you show you what that is it's this bottom piece right here so you could that crafty bottom can fit any of your projects so but that's the next thing we're going to make but this is actually finished this workstation is finished as is if you wanted it to be but i am going to add the crafty bottom to it so i will take some detailed pictures and put them on my instagram if you can't see very well uh, through YouTube. I will put some on my Instagram and I'll have that link down below. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.